Hello, Eric Owens here, President and CEO of E2 Gold. I'm here today to tell you about our most recent drill results, exciting high grade results from our Hawkins Gold project in North Central Ontario. We look forward to following up with you any, with any questions you may have after this is over, uh, but we appreciate uh, you listening to this uh, recording. Before we get started, uh, just a couple of cautionary words. This, these are exploratory results. There is no mining on our project at this point in time. Uh, this is an early stage exploration property with some great results and a good start. Uh, but beyond that, we expect you to take care and caution with your investments. We move on to the project area. The two holes of interest from our recent uh, press release here today is MK21003 and 005 located uh, right here in the red dots here. Also shown in red is the target McKinnon zone and inferred resource that we have all at surface uh, from zero to 150 meters depth and about three and a half kilometers long. That is contains 6.2 million tons, grading 1.65 grams per ton for about 328,800 ounces of gold. Uh, this is our target horizon for the foreseeable future at this stage as we try to decide whether this can be grown to something much bigger. Uh, the two holes in question, we hit some high, good high grade results. Uh, for instance, 30.9 grams per ton over half a meter in hole number five, also 7.4 grams per ton in hole number three. I will tell you a little bit more uh, about those, uh, but first we'd like to put uh, these two holes in a little bit better context before we go into the details of these drill holes. As you can see, uh, our target zone here is where we've been focusing our drill holes. We have been completing, we have, com we have completed about 15 holes at this point in time uh, and uh, we'll be stopping soon because of uh, weather in, in the North Country. Uh, but our, our goal is to try and see if we can't enlarge the McKinnon zone over the next uh, foreseeable future. Before we continue on in, in further details with the two drill holes we're talking about today, uh, we are going to provide a little perspective here. You can see that the uh, McKinnon zone here is shown in this maroon trend here. Uh, in gray are Falcon Bridge trenches and drill holes that have helped define that zone for us and for our, our PGOs. And in yellow are our drill holes, uh, E2 gold, gold and yellow. Uh, so we'll just uh, kind of provide a little perspective of where we've drilled. Uh, first, uh, on the east end, uh, we completed drill hole number six in the Taylor zone here. Uh, assays are pending for that drill hole. Uh, we intended a second drill hole here, but uh, spring thaw forced us out of that foggy area. Uh, we move now to the center part of the part of the uh, project area we call Irving. Uh, this is uh, the drill holes that we completed first, holes one through five and two of the three holes that, well, three of the holes that we've announced now, the two holes of today, hole number three, hole number five here are the holes we've uh, completed for uh, for this press release uh, and hole number one sandwiched in between the two, which we announced uh, uh, about a month ago. We're still waiting for the assay results for two more holes on, at this location. Um, and uh, so we're, we're now moving to the west end uh, to the area we call Shenango. Uh, broadly, more broadly speaking, uh, we've completed about eight holes in this in this area to date. Uh, we've actually completed a ninth subsequent to this diagram. Uh, all assays are pending for these holes at this point in time. Uh, we've been testing both the McKinnon zone in, in this area plus some targets that do not lie on the McKinnon zone itself. So we're very uh, very eager to to see these results, and we're looking forward to to be able to, being able to talk to you about those in the future. Okay, a few more words about the two drill holes that we have uh, announced in this recent press release. Uh, MK21003, which can, you can see on this cross section is this hole right here, and MK21005 located down dip from it. In number five, hole number five, we hit uh, a half a meter interval of 30.9 grams per ton, a great result. Adjacent to it, we intersected 9.71 grams per ton, also over a half a meter, in a broader zone of six meters, grading 5.8 grams per ton. A great, uh, a great early result for us. 
Uh, up dip uh, in hole number three, we intersect 25 meters, grading 1.24 grams per ton, uh, including a one meter interval of 7.4 grams per ton. We're very pleased with these results and they hang together with hole number one, which was previously announced. Uh, so we're starting to build a little bit of volume here uh, on these uh, results, in addition to verifying uh, the location of the Falcon Bridge holes and verifying the location of our target zone in McKinnon's uh, inferred resource. Uh, furthermore, these results tell us, give us some great geological information. You can see the drill core here uh, from, from uh, the zone, the McKinnon zone. Uh, we have a very finely laminated altered tonalite, which is a uh, shear zone rock, basically, quartz, sericite, schist type of rock. Uh, we see two generations of quartz, a darker gray quartz and a lighter uh, gray to white quartz in, in this lamination. Uh, we also see these coarse quartz veins, gray quartz veins with big coarse blebby pyrite. Uh, and these, these are critical to the higher grade zones that we're finding here. Uh, so we look for, forward to, to issuing more drill results in the coming weeks. Uh, we're looking forward to, to getting these out to you, uh, the investing public, and uh, we hope you'll stay tuned for further, uh, further news, result, news and, and drill results. Thank you.